Bir virgül koyayım gideyim Londra'ya. Londra'da Huntek Markets piyasa analisti Richard Perry bizleri bekliyor. Richard, good morning. Good morning. I would like to start with the macro data at United States. The numbers are a little bit weak when we look at the GDP numbers and also the uh, ISM manufacturing index as well. Do you believe that the weaker and soft data on US side will be priced in somehow because we don't see any market reaction on that side if we look at the stock market? Mm. Yeah, it was an interesting move actually because we saw obviously thin market trading yesterday on on Monday because we had May Day bank holiday throughout the European countries. So it was um, a disappointment certainly on the inflation data and the PCE falling on the core basis to 1.6% was uh, I think a little bit of a, a, an underwhelming number um, and then you added that into the, uh, the uh, ISM manufacturing data that also missed estimates. But I think moving forward, I think that Q1 tends to be a little bit of a uh, disappointment on the, uh, on the growth numbers anyway and you tend to see Q2 and Q3 gathering momentum and that's the expectation that we've got at the moment but I think if we continue to see the ISM number sort of disappointing on the downside, inflation also coming a bit lower or sort of not for, not really picking up, I think that could sort of gain a little bit of traction uh, in terms of uh, a growth disappointment. The numbers in the States have been a touch disappointing anyway recently. So I think that what we could see is maybe a little bit of a pairing back, possibly of expectations of uh, the Fed moves uh, in the coming months on the back of that. And in terms of growth forecasts, when we look at Atlanta Fed's GDP now forecast, it's around 4.3% for, uh, for, uh, for this quarter, for the second quarter. But the market consensus mm. is around 2.7%. Do you believe that is going to change yeah. somehow? And do you expect a second, uh, strong second quarter as well? Well, I, I do expect certainly Q2 to pick up from the first quarter, um, but the Atlanta Fed GDP now forecast tends to sort of come in on the, on the low side. Um, so it is a little bit of a surprise to see it up so high um, at the moment. But what we do tend to see is that Atlanta Fed tracking lower as the quarter goes on, as the uh, sort of numbers come through and you get more sort of visibility in terms of how growth is going to pan out through the quarter. I think that's more than likely to happen again because I, I think that uh, growth closer to towards sort of 2.5, maybe even towards the 2% trend is more than likely, I think, in Q2. So when you uh, look at this scenario, do you expect Fed to rate uh, hike rates uh, for, uh, for twice this year? And also, what about the uh, balance sheet shrinking side? Do you expect any further signals from Fed tomorrow? Yeah, good question. I mean, basically, the market is sort of looking at June uh, as a, a still as, as a likely month that the Fed's going to move. Around about 70% is the expectation in terms of the Fed funds futures. But I think December is a really questionable month now uh, for, a, for a third rate hike this year. It's around about 50-50. It's not looking all that great. And certainly, as I said, if the data continues to disappoint, I think we could see uh, a little bit of a reduction of those expectations of a December hike. Now, moving forward in terms of the balance sheet, reduction. I think that um, that could also play into the, the market sort of reducing expectations of rate hikes. I think what we're going to see is a possible shift towards um, so a shift away from hiking uh, interest rates and more towards the balance sheet reduction in terms of how the Fed tightens monetary policy going forward. So let's have a look at emerging markets as well. When we look at emerging markets, we see some countries like Brazil and Russia on the easing cycle. But when we look at countries like Turkey, we are hiking rates as well. Do you believe that divergence will somehow catch up and find a mean in the uh, mid, uh, middle term? And do you expect that the underperformance of Turkish lira and Turkish assets would somehow catch up with the others? Well, it's a, it's a difficult question to really sort of equate because there's a lot of um, intricacies going on with those economies. But certainly what we've seen is the, uh, the Turkish expectations rising at the moment. But as to whether that continues or not um, and con compared to the, the Russians, which are sort of cutting rates, I think it's a, it's a different balance to uh, really equate. Richard Perry, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Evet, Richard Perry'nin görüşleri böyle.